Good morning, good morning. It's a new week, it's a new month, it's the second half of the year, summer is starting to heat up, and people have opinions about all kinds of things, especially politically lately. I've seen people just absolutely lose their minds over things. And I just think, I just sit back and I think, you know, I don't really know or care what the topic is. I don't see myself losing my cool like that. And, and I think when we can master our emotions, the better off we are in any situation, especially when it's a volatile one, because the people with the cool collected minds are gonna be the ones that find the way out of the situation, which is why I really wanted to talk today about mastering your emotions and keeping a calm or a level head because it will get us through things that anger and frustration and just going unhinged would never get us through. In fact, people will shy away from us because we'll seem unstable. And I, I really appreciate the wisdom of the Bible and I appreciate just the, the boldness of the Bible and as somebody who really devours personal development and professional development and always trying to be my best and read books about that, listen to podcasts about that and all kinds of things, I realize that most of the time when I hear a really good quote or a really good methodology of, a, of whether it's acquiring peace or having a level head or acquiring wisdom or how to study or whatever it is, most of the time when I find something that someone says, either in a quote or a methodology, like I said, to be very, very profound, I usually find that it has its roots in the Bible, especially in Proverbs. And today is no exception because we're talking about mastering our emotions and keeping a cool head and a calm mind can handle any situation. Well, I, I love the, the translation of the Good News Bible of Proverbs 14, 29. And it says this, and I, I absolutely love this approach. It says, if you stay calm, you are wise. But if you have a hot temper, you only show how stupid you are. Again, I love the boldness and I love the transparency of the Bible. When we, if we have a hot temper, we just show how stupid we are. I think that's so applicable in today's world that I'm not calling people stupid at all. Uh, I'm, and I'm not saying anything about anybody in particular. I'm just saying the, the best strategy to handle chaos, to handle uncertainty like we have plenty of in today's world is to keep a level head and just look at the facts, just the facts, ma'am from Dragnet, if you remember that. So just look at it, keep a calm mind, evaluate it through what is important to us and go on and just keep a level head, keep a cool mind, keep a calm disposition and handle your stuff. And people will be gravitating to you because of that, because people appreciate a calm mind, especially when there's chaos, because there's wisdom woven all through that. There's strength woven all through that. There is God's authority woven all through that. So whatever calamity or chaos or obstacle or frustrating thing you have in your life, my friend, just look at it objectively, remove the emotions, master those emotions in the process, and keep a calm mind. Because when you do, you can handle literally any situation. And if you find you're struggling with it, lean in harder on God because he can walk you through it. My homeboy Jesus and I can handle any situation, especially when we keep a calm mind. Have a wonderful day. Take care and God bless.